I ain't gonna lie to you, that episode of Welcome to Hero Academia, oh my god, the hype at the last five minutes, just, it's right, the hype, I was like, oh my god, the hype is once back, because, I mean, this episode was quite slow to start off with, because it basically just got an introduction to all the rest of the characters and how they worked, and then basically shots are saying, oh no, you know what, that whole thing wasn't to exclude you at all, but just to show you how much you can actually use your quirk and how well you can actually use it, just to show me how well you can use it, I was kind of like, shots are mate. Why would you do that? Granted, I thought to myself, yeah, it's, of course it's going to go down that route, since he wouldn't expel anyone straight away, because what's the point? He's using that whole training sequence basically just to say, oh, you're going to be expelled if you get last place. But in three, it's just to show you how great of a person you are using your quirks. I thought to myself, it ain't a bad idea in a sense, because it just brings out everyone's quirk and see how well they work, because if they're under pressure not to get expelled, they're going to use their best like kind of ideas and how the, the best moves. So it kind of just made you realise that he's just doing it just to kind of like progress them, to show you, show you him how well they can work. So I kind of put, thought to myself, I don't mind. It's kind of, kind of alright. You're a bit of an asshole, but I don't mind you, because you've, you've got a pretty freaking cool quirk, so it's alright. But the main thing, or the main focal point for me this whole episode was Izuku and Katsuki's relationship. I think that was the main thing for me to take away from this episode. How much Izuku has respect for Katsuki, even though Katsuki's really bring them down, like saying that you're just, a, you're just a pebble in the side of the road. I was like, oh my god, I was like, that's a really... Really horrible thing to say, but he's like, you're a pebble beside the road, you're nothing towards me. I will always be better than you, but no. When you think about it, Izuku never once brings him down. He never once says, Katsuki, you're a bad person, you're terrible. Like, in a sense, he never once brings his person down. He still says he's amazing, or he still says at the end of the episode, so I chuckle, like, look, his quirk is better than mine. His quirk surpasses my quirk. I was kind of like, see, he, he has all but one for all, but I mean... He never once brings him down. He always kind of brings him up, saying he's amazing, he's better than me, I need to get better than him. He never once says, well, this person's terrible. He never once says that. It kind of just made me realise he's a really freaking down-to-earth character. He's really nice. Like, he doesn't once say anything bad about other characters. He just thinks highly of everyone. He just really does. Like, in a sense, anyone can bring him down. He thinks highly of them. It just... It was really freaking nice, and at the end, when he actually says, I know your moves, because I studied, I studied you, and I actually written, da written down in my notebook your moves, because I, I wrote down every single hero I thought that was amazing in my notebook, and he makes you realise, he wrote him down. Even though Katsuki was bringing him down constantly, saying, you're nothing, I will always be better than you, he wrote him down saying he was amazing, so it, just, it was just that, it kind of just told me, look, this character is far more than what I'm getting at the moment, he's got respect for everyone, yeah, people will put him down, but he doesn't freaking care, he will always think highly of you, I was kind of like, Zuki mate, stop doing that, you're so freaking cool, I was like, just stop it, okay, he's gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna get burned one day, just stop doing that, but he's just so freaking nice, I'm just, I, I can't not love him, he's just such a freaking great character, he's one of those characters who really does deserve where he is. He deserves what he, he, where he got to. And the fact his mother's like, I'm sorry I, I gave up for you so soon. You never once kind of diminished your own dreams. You can't, you can't see surpass your own dreams. You can't see got there. I'm sorry. I was kind of like, no, don't you dare do this to me now. I don't want to cry. Like, every single time Izuku's mother comes out, I start crying. I was like, I don't want to do this to me. Just don't do this to me, okay? Just don't make me cry. Just make me cry the whole entire time. And the fact that actually she made the costume for him and he, he actually used the costume she made. And since he didn't get state-of-the-art one, he didn't do anything like that. He actually used the costume his mother actually made for her. I was kind of like, oh, man. That is so freaking cool. I was like, stop it. Stop it, Izuku. Just stop being so freaking adorable. But I must say, overall... Freaking episode was amazing in the sense we kind of also saw everyone else's costumes in like and show and so we actually saw everyone in costume because in this episode basically we find out the actual like costume allowance and everyone else is costumes in this episode. It's actually kind of interesting. Everyone else's costumes seem like something you would imagine as a child. It's actually kind of interesting in the sense it's one of those things because actually the UA Academy actually allows you to send in designs and measurements of what you want to do as a costume. I thought to myself, that's actually kind of a cool idea, because you can sit there for years trying to figure out what you want as a costume. It makes you realise your own dreams, and it's not just giving you a costume out of nowhere. It's actually making you, allowing you to actually make your own costume. Like, your costume of your dreams, like, state-of-the-art costume of your dreams. It's kind of like... Like, if I was going, I'd look like Batman, but still. Still, just, I thought it was pretty freaking great. I thought it was one of, it's one of those things that just like, oh, okay. I like that. But I guess the whole the end of the episode actually focused on the whole idea that All Might saying we've got to do some combat training. In this combat training, two you're gonna be spending the teams and it's basically heroes versus villains. One person to play the hero and one team's gonna play the villain. And in that basically the heroes have got to stop the villains from like to take using this war like kind of warhead or this like a bomb. And yeah. That's the last part, but the, I guess the focus really was Izuku and Katsuki's relationship. And it's just it explored it pretty freaking down well because at the beginning he just lashed out on him. I was kinda like, 
why would you do that? Because I guess Katsuki didn't realize how much power Izuku has. And since he kind of says, how do you get all this power? And in a sense, last time I saw him, he didn't have this power. How does he have this power now? And so like, I can't understand it. Since did he form his whole entire time? Since did he always have this quirk? But he never told me he had this quirk. I don't know. I think that as well, Katsuki's realizing there's uh, there's actually a competition to him. Since there's actually just someone else there that actually might be equally as powerful as him. And he doesn't like the whole idea because Izuku always looked up to Katsuki. He always did look up to him. Since he always saw him as someone he always wanted to be or surpass. But Katsuki, being the arsehole, said, "Oh, you'll never surpass me." I was kind of like. Katsuki, mate, why would you do that? Why would you freaking do that? And also, the one line that really stuck with me was Shota saying, look, the worst thing, the most cruelest thing you can do is stop a dream midway through. I was kind of like, yeah, you're right. That's, that is a terrible thing to happen. And that's, that's one of those things you're kind of like, oh, man, that's one of those lines that kind of sticks with you for a little while. And it's kind of one of those things that goes, oh, yeah, that is kind of terrible. But overall freaking amazing episode I must say because it really truly was. This episode, these episodes get better and better. Granted they do kind of get slower but either way it still explores the relationship between all these characters and how they're getting closer as people and how they will one day maybe become friends and actually kind of get along. I'm not too sure but either way I'm freaking loving this anime. Like, I love this more than actually imagined at first. I thought it was actually going to be a pretty alright anime. I thought it was going to be great but I didn't think it was going to be this amazing so I'm kind of like freaking yes. I love it but all with all that said I have been the driver. Leave a like. Do leave a like, it doesn't quite a bit, leave a sub. Do leave a sub, it does quite a bit, but with all that said, I have been a driver, and I will see you guys later. Bye for now.